Oh my gosh, I said yes for 24 hours and then I said no for 24 hours and weird things happened, I guess. Okay, here we go. What is up, escapers? I hope you are all doing fantastic. It's been a while. I hope you're all doing great. Okay, I'm trying something out new with my lighting. I'm using natural light and the sun is kind of like coming and going. So if the lighting is kind of weird, like, sorry about ya. Anyway, I am super excited about today's video. It was really fun to kind of do this exercise or whatever. But before we get into that, let's get into the quote of the day. The quote of the day is always stay true to yourself and never let what somebody else says distract you from your goals. Michelle Obama is the one that said this and I actually think think that this quote is pretty powerful and something that I have been going through myself. This video kind of actually ties in to a video I'm about to do on my Japan channel, so if you don't follow me on that, totally check it out. It'll be in the description box down below. It's just my life living in Tokyo, Japan. But this video kind of like ties into that because that video, which I have not created yet, but I am going to be creating, is explaining like how I live and survive in the most expensive city in Japan, but I don't really make that much money. It's these decisions that we have to make daily and saying yes or no can definitely highly affect that. So basically what I did is I did an experiment where I only said yes for a day no matter the situation and then for 24 hours and then I did one where I only said no for 24 hours or whatever. But why this is such a great exercise is because for somebody like me, I struggle with like anxiety and insecure issues and maybe like hurting the other person's feelings too much. It's so difficult for me sometimes to say yes or no. But you could think of this exercise kind of as rejection therapy and it's something that can kind of help you get to the point that you want to be at. I didn't create a worksheet for you guys this week. However, what I basically did is every time I said yes or no or was in a situation like that, I basically just wrote it down in my notes of my phone and then I just reflect upon it later. Oh my gosh, the lighting in this video, the sun's deciding to come back, let's fix this. Okay, hopefully that's like slightly better, I don't know. Pretty much with the yes day, when I reflect back on my notes, I really saw myself struggling with wanting to say yes to people. One of the ones was my friend who was like, Kel, do you want to go out to Nicholme tonight and like have a kiki and this, this and that and get drunk and like spend all this money? No, he didn't ask it like that, but that's basically what had happened. I was in the challenge, I couldn't say no, and I had to say yes. And so I really, really didn't want to do that because I'm broke. I was broke at the moment, I'm always broke actually. And I went out, I drank, I had to work the next morning really early, just all of it was a big no for me. But I had to say yes and I struggled with being able to say no when I truly wanted to. And when I look back on my notes with the no day for 24 hours of saying no to people and reflect on those notes, I saw that I really struggled with saying no to people be based off of like maybe hurting their feelings potentially or whatnot. But the thing that I let myself know is I have to be honest as to why I'm telling them no. If it's because I'm broke, I'm gonna let you know that's why I'm not doing it. If it's because I don't wanna do it, I'm gonna let you know it's because I don't wanna do it. I caught myself before and it was like, gave me so much anxiety to just be honest like that, but I caught myself before making up little white lies just to uh, like language attrition, and I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Basically like to avoid hurting the other people's feelings or whatever. So for you, if you do this exercise, it might be easy for you. You might be like more easier with yeses or more easier with noes. It's just a great way for you to figure out and kind of give you rejection therapy on like being able to stay true to who you are and yourself and your goals and what you're doing. Because with me, I can get so distracted so easily. And with this exercise, it's really great to say, you know what, today I'm only going to say yes to the things I wanna say yes to and no to the things that I wanna say no to. This way you can stay on track with your goals and you're not like getting sidetracked or whatever. I know I'm not that cool on social media, however, I really want you guys to start using my worksheets, using my exercises. I do them as well, we're in this together as a team, but I really want you guys to start doing them. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, at Kel Preston, I'll also be in the description box down below. But I want you to let me know in a Twitter post if you do this exercise and what the outcome was for you. Did it help you? Was it pointless? Was it meaningless? Like, what were your yeses? What were your noes? Like, how did it go? Let me know in the little character amount that Twitter allows you to do. And then at the end of the month, let's say maybe like mid month of June, I will tally up everybody who has sent me tweets of that. And then I will do a giveaway of a $10 Amazon gift card 
online. It doesn't matter if you are from America or not, it'll be an electronic one so you can use it no matter what. But yes, do that. I'm not, again, I'm not that popular on social media, so who knows, you might just be the only one that does it and you're gonna blatantly be the winner. So super excited about that, but also let me know what is your biggest goal of 2019? I wanna know, comment down below. Mine is to just like get the freak out of debt. <laughs> It's like my biggest goal and to focus on minimalism, but that's my goal. Um, share what yours is in the comments down below. We'll get a conversation started. But you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the support. Don't forget to escape, laugh, and dream, and I will see you guys in next week's video. See ya. Bye.